who's going to save the world tonight? Who's going to bring you back to light? We're going to make it you and I. We're going to save the world tonight. surrounds us from the ice cream truck jingle you hear going down the street or to your favorite tune on the radio. It connects and inspires us. So how powerful can music really be? Often when people think of curing diseases, they think of drugs, chemicals, and medicines to do that. But for hundreds of years, people have been using music to heal. For example, on January 8, 2011, Congresswoman Gabrielle Giffords was shot in the head in Tucson, Arizona. This was a life-threatening injury, but after 10 months of intense music therapy sessions, she was able to regain her ability to speak. By listening to songs like American Pie and her favorite, Brown Eyed Girl, she was able to hum along, and those that humming turned into words and words into sentences. Music and its ther therapeutic healing abilities brought back something in Giffords that many didn't think she could have again. Another example of music's healing abilities is a trial where 60 patients were tested who had strokes in the past. One third listened to music, another third listened to audiobooks, and the other people listened to nothing. It turns out that the people who listened to music improved much more than the others. I'm here to tell you how music can strengthen focus and studying habits. Now imagine this. College students studying for exams, accompanied by music of course, and acing their tests the next day. This is a common case of students doing better with music. Musicians, in fact, are encouraged to memorize their music for them to do better in performance. I should know, I'm a violinist. The Mozart effect is a common discussion topic uh, discussed with cognitive skills, um, including a study in which people listened with music and uh, some people listened, didn't listen with music, and the people who listened to music did better on, exam on quizzes. It's also good to re realize that music is a personal escape a place for people to go when they feel stressed or they need to focus. Now, in short, music is a good way to help focus and study in any way possible. Have you ever wondered when music can affect your emotions? Well, we did, and we've researched it. So I'm sure you've listened to music, but can you recall a time when the music made you feel a strong, deep emotion, whether it was sadness, sorrow, happiness, or excitedness. I have. And this was because of music. When I was younger, I had some anger issues. I tried every year to find something that helped, and there was only one situation that helped. Music. Um, last month, I got a really bad grade on a math test, and I was really sad. So I went home, and I listened to sad music to amp up my sadness, and it definitely worked. And later that night, I wanted to feel better because I did not want to drown in my sorrow, so I manipulated my own emotions by listening to happy music, and I was then motivated to do well on the next test. Did you know that music has the ability to calm you? It can also be very ex helpful in extreme situations of stress. The body reacts to stress by releasing cortisol, a hormone that regulates a wide range of processes throughout the body, like metabolism. Scientists believe that music may be able to regulate cortisol levels, overall decreasing stress levels. There was a study done on babies and it had to do with three types of music that were very calming. After the test, the babies were very um, calm and their heartbeats um, went down. A trial with many children was set up. One portion listened to music and the other portion did not. The kids that did listen to music were much happier and more calm than the other kids. Uh, on a sadder situation of stress was when a girl's brother committed suicide and it greatly affected her family and her. Um, so as an outlet, she used music and she wrote a song that helped her get through the hard time. 
we also have our own personal stories of music. I've been playing piano for a few years now, and it's super fun, and I like it a lot. And um, so anytime there's a stressful situation, I usually go to the piano. I've been singing for seven years now, since I was six years old, and I cannot imagine my life without music. It has helped me through so many stressful situations. As you can see, music is such an important part of our lives. We have researched the benefits of music and there are countless needs that we can incorporate into our lives every single day. I question you, how can you put music into your life? Could you be seen with me and still I